In the embedded world, our projects often revolve around something like this. A printed circuit board populated with a microcontroller and a collection of peripheral devices. Most of us have always dealt with this sort of platform, so it can be difficult to see its shortcomings. We just accept them as a normal part of the job. Someone with no experience in embedded systems, though, would likely not need much time at all to identify a major potential drawback of working with such a platform. This board is, to a large extent, a black box. Embedded systems developers have a tendency to view this as part of the challenge and even the fun of a new project. However, what seems fun when the stakes are low and engineering resources are plentiful can be infuriating when a development team is stretched thin and scrambling to meet a deadline. So what's the solution to this problem? Should this board be redesigned with a keyboard, a graphical display, and a bevy of other human-machine interfaces? Probably not. The problem really doesn't lie with the board itself. Presumably, this board gives developers most, if not all, of the functionality that their end products will incorporate, and does so at a reasonable cost. Expanding the board with bulky, expensive displays and other hardware would be wasteful. Application code would need to be augmented considerably to take advantage of this hardware, and chances are that the extra code, as well as the hardware itself, would not play a significant role in the final product. Perhaps, then, the best solution is to construct a user interface not on the actual board, but on the PC already being used to debug the board's code. Instead of adding physical buttons, LEDs, and a graphical display to the board, we could instantiate a corresponding set of virtual components on a PC. This is the simple but incredibly powerful idea behind MicRim's award-winning visualization tool, MicroC Probe. MicRim developed MicroC Probe to be a universal tool, compatible with any embedded hardware platform in any development environment. MicroC Probe supports practically all microcontrollers, from low-power 8-bit devices to high-performance 32-bit devices. It can connect to such hardware via JTAG, RS-232, TCPIP, and other widely used communication protocols. With MicroC Probe, there is very little effort involved in bringing the inner workings of an embedded system to life. You don't have to instrument your embedded software in order to use MicroC Probe, and you don't have to write any code for your PC either. Visualizing part of an embedded system with MicroC Probe is as simple as dragging and dropping graphical components. And how do MicroC Probe's components behave after they've been instantiated? Very much like their real life counterparts, they update continuously while the code that they represent runs. In other words, MicroC Probe, unlike a conventional debugger, does not require you to halt your embedded system in order to view the status of your code. Although its singular capabilities lend themselves well to debugging, MicroC Probe is not strictly a debugging tool. It is also especially useful in the initial phases of a project as a means of creating professional quality demos and even prototypes of a final product's user interface. After product deployment, there are additional uses for MicroC Probe as an aid in troubleshooting otherwise inscrutable devices. In general, MicroC Probe gives you the ability to see inside running embedded systems, and this ability is an asset in practically every project throughout the development cycle.